Hey guys, welcome to another video for simonsvideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today we have a live discussion with DanceTube TV at uh, youtube.com uh, slash DanceTube TV and uh, we'll have a, a general discussion about the future of tech in the coming years, 5 years, 10 years, 100 years, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> See how long we live for, I guess. <laughs> okay, so uh, what, what do you think uh, about about the next five years, what kind of technology will be interesting that's coming? Um, okay, so for me personally, um, yeah. I really wanted to see, you know the whole um, pay-as-you-go feature, like a lot of cards now have that pay-as-you-go, you swipe um, on, on an Xbox machine and you go through, and a lot of companies have tried to implement that into our phones so that we have that access on our phones. And um, I'd like to see, you know, Apple or Samsung are actually a full, fully-fledged, you know, phone company release technology like that in the future. Um, that would be really awesome. Also, I guess, like, the wearable side of things. This is, like, for five years in the future, because I don't... They're very slow with tech um, updates. They, they kind of milk it for as much money as they can, and then they'll move on. So, I, I don't know. iWatches and stuff, stuff like that. <laughs> mm, personally, for the next five years, I believe the Apple iWatch will incorporate very similar to MYO Mio. Uh, you know the wristband thingy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they have this uh, muscle detection and you can actually have hand, hand gesture to that control the computer. Awesome. Yeah. That would be cool, yeah. I'd like to see something like that. And I'd like to actually see a proper watch interface. Like, all of them have the LCD face. Mm -hmm. in. So, like, when your watch dies, you don't have a watch anymore. It's like yeah. a phone device. I'd like to see, like, an interface, you know, like, have the watch interface and then another layer above with the actual screen. I think that'd be interesting because they haven't done that yet. It's all just been um, a screen, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So about hundred years. Hundred years. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, that's that's a while away. Um, I, I think there's going to be a lot coming out. Technology is advancing so fast. I definitely think more businesses will implement um, more technology. I guess throughout it, you're seeing it like every day. I'm, in everything, petrol stations, like every single retail store implementing more more and more technology. So I guess it would just, I don't know, 100 years from now, that's so far away. Yeah, what that, do you think? Let's uh, put it that's up to like, uh, 50 years. <laughs> 50 years, yeah, okay. What do you think? I'm going to have to think about this. Uh... I really hope the space technology will uh will will improve like the base X and uh you know the all the space will be privatized so that all the corporations can actually send people to space for whichever reason, not just the government uh giving us the opportunity to go up. So uh space mining and you know we'll we'll have almost unlimited amount of helium, I think, in moon. <laughs> Uh, so imagine we have a uh, huge resource in space that is uh, literally untapped right now. So if we can go to space, we might have new material for our yeah. devices yeah. Yeah, to, to be mined over in the space. <laughs> that would be hectic, yeah, definitely. Because they're trying to look for more, um, I guess, rigorous material, more, more materials that are going to last over an extended period of time now. Screens and stuff, like more durable and... I'd like to see something like that, like a new material that they find in space. That'd be cool. But what about um, the whole wearable side of tech? Like, do you think that's a big um, movement, or do you think it's a trend that's just going to die? I think wearable is a, I'll say a a trend like smartphones. So it'll yeah. be like replacing our smartphones uh, by replacing the the five senses. That means the visual part, the sound part the touch part, and yeah. will be totally uh, hands-free. That means our mobile devices will no longer be, you know, into use in one hand. But instead, uh, we'll be able to see the device, see through the device, and see what where we're we going. But yet, we can see the notifications. And by hand gesture, we can control the screen that we are looking at. Uh, yeah. it, it could be a headgear kind of thing, but it's so lightweight that um, you, you can just see right into it and just wear like glasses. But, yeah, that, yeah. And you can increase your sense in terms of the audio, the visual, and notification. 
yet not distracting enough to uh, distract you from walking to the pole. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or experiencing normal human emotion without technology. <laughs> yeah. But like, so, uh, it, it's crazy because I've heard a lot of things about them trying to implement um, contact lenses that have a heads-up display. So contact lenses that users can wear anywhere, so they don't have to wear glasses, but they also have access to the internet. There's no like interface in front of you. They just work like lenses, and then you can also activate the um, the tech within. And like Google Glass are trying to um, you know get prescription lenses as well, which I think is really awesome. Make it a bit more maybe, useful. Maybe they will work, but I, I'm not quite sure how they're going to incorporate the um, the data transfer. I mean, does it? Use our bodily fluid as an energy source. <laughs> How do they? Yeah, put it? Exactly. Like had, yeah, it'd have to have a small chip in it or something to power it. I have no idea. It's a, it will be like cyborg at that time. <laughs> <laughs> in fifty years, we will all be robots, pretty much um, controlled by this tech. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not quite sure, but I, I, I think <laughs> the future of uh, technology will will go so fast and the population grows and uh, telecommuting I think will be the next in thing. That means yeah. uh, now you and me are YouTubers, we're actually doing work at home, right? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. imagine uh, all uh, office environment can be virtual re reality using the Oculus Rift type of technology. Yeah. And uh, basically you have no screen. So when you sit on any desk, just have a fan or aircon. You just put on your Oculus Rift and your computer system will be virtually in front of you. <laughs> you can have unlimited well, screen. Your office colleagues would have the same thing. Yes. <laughs> so you can yeah. just, hey, <laughs> you know, talk to your colleagues. Yeah, hey, hey, how are you? <laughs> that is like... Hey, hectic. Should we go and get a coffee now? Yeah, yeah like what are we doing right now? <laughs> that would be crazy, yeah. Just, but the problem is uh, we, we can see not just the front of you. Let's say I'm not just looking at you through the webcam, but I'm actually looking at you, like eyes to eyes. Uh, and yeah. I can see the side of you, the right side of you, everywhere. I can turn around and see multiple... Like a 3D model of me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that would be crazy. The MYO yeah. that. That Mio, the hand gesture thingy, they can yeah, yeah, yeah. emulate the hand in front of you. That would be so cool. <laughs> so imagine you have an office space, a, not say a cubicle, maybe you can just design your own office space. Yeah. <laughs> and Glass windows overlooking like a nice city or something. It, it um, can be anything. <laughs> you, you could be your own boss. That would be so cool. That would be awesome. <laughs> would, oh, we need to discuss with yeah. um, the audience, like, what, what are we going to call this section? Uh, we yeah. need to know, like, if it's gonna be a thursday thing if it's like tech thursday or tech talk or like what do we we need to get people to comment i guess um so. yeah interesting so guys uh if i mean if you're watching here we don't have a name for this uh this uh, discussion live chat so maybe just give us a name put in the comment section below what, what do you think about this uh yeah. what yeah. item yeah. should we name this <laughs> yeah we need to know because we have no idea <laughs> yeah. we need to figure it out yeah. All right. And um, I guess also we would love people to comment what they would like to see in the future, what, what kind of tech they have heard about. Because that's the thing with tech. There's so many rumors going around. There's so many people saying, like, this is in the near future, but we may not see it for years. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on in the, you know, behind the scenes in terms of development, but we may not see it for a little while. Yeah. Um, I I've actually posted uh, something in my Facebook. Um, yeah like a, a poll like uh, what kind of technology that they really want to be in the in the future so actually I, i'm actually looking at it right now the first one that they wanted is uh teleporters see people would have had had to have worked on that already like there, there's so much um interest in that topic people would have yeah. had to work on that for years and years to try and figure it out I think that, that there's a idea, uh, I mean, some some uh, physicists, I think, actually say that it's possible. It's just that we are actually cloning ourselves instead of really teleporting ourselves. So we actually clone our body, our, you know, everything, send through the pipes, and then uh, re... 
3D print ourselves back into yeah, reality. Yeah. But does that mean that we have to destroy the old one? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and go wrong there. And you could, because assumedly you would have to kill off your original self and then they'd clone you. Like, what happens if something went wrong? What happens if there was a glitch in the system and you lost, like, memory capacity? That's scary. Oh. Or worse, they clone us a fly together. Yeah. <laughs> Simpsons episode. <laughs> uh, that would be so scary. <laughs> no, I, I will never. Uh, I, I will try to um, telecommute instead of teleport. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next one is... Um, actually, I have a couple of uh, people actually say they want a sword art online. Have you seen the Japanese anime? Sword Art Online. No, I haven't. So they have this 3D game, uh, yeah. virtual reality game, that they have uh, like MMORPG that multiple people can go into the game using the virtual reality, but they are trapped inside and yeah. they, they cannot come out unless they finish cool, the game. Cool yeah, but the thing is, if they take off the headgear prematurely, they will die in real life. <laughs> So, so there's a lot of people. There's some actually mentioned they want that kind of world to to live, but I want to up the notch a bit. I want people to work in the in that kind of world. That means a virtual world that you can actually uh earn money in real life. Yeah, yeah. That means you can basically create a world that uh fit yourself in the reality. Yeah, exactly. You have your own <laughs> alter ego online. Does that make any sense? Hmm. That's crazy, <laughs> wow. <laughs> the, uh, that's another thing I also wish to have is free energy. Free energy. Um, like renewable green energy? I would say uh, miniaturized fusion nuclear reactor in every household. Wow. 100 that, years. Yeah. <laughs> then we pretty much have nukes in every single house in the world and could de deface the entire planet. <laughs> It really depends on how you um, <laughs> make the fusion of fission. I, I'm not quite sure, but there is some kind of nuclear uh, fission or fusion, fusion cold fusion, yeah. that is uh, less explosive. Oh, less explosive. <laughs> yeah, we'd want that for the um, the dumber people who uh, may throw it around or something. With free energy, we have free food because they can basically grow food anywhere they want. That would be crazy if that happened. And uh, desalinate all kinds of water supply everywhere in the world. So 50 to 100 years, we're going to see renewable energy in every single house. Not just in every single house. In the moon, in the Mars, in any kind of... Uh, because you've got free energy, right? Basically, you can create your own environment, um, you know, lights and everything. You can grow anything yeah. anywhere. So with free energy, you can... Basically, live anywhere in the world, including in the space as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we can do our um, videos from from space in the future. That would be cool. In like twenty, yeah. thirty years, we can do some videos. Do you have any anything that you want to add uh, to plug in for your video? Um, for yeah, I guess if you could mention the uh, giveaway that I have running currently on my channel, it's like the featured video on my page at the moment. Interesting. Why, why are you giving away? Um, I'm personally giving away just a little iPod Shuffle, like a two gigabyte one, but it all comes out of my um, my own pocket. Like I don't get this, get given any of this stuff. I have to pay for it. And then um, this this girl Jenny that I'm doing videos with, she works for Jailbreak Central. She is giving away, I think, four cases, but there are heaps of different ones. Really cool, thick um, plastic cases with a cool design. But, wow, uh, cool. Yeah, so we're just giving that away at the moment. So you're giving away uh, uh anywhere in the world can participate yep. in the giveaway? International, oh. yeah. That's cool. <laughs> um currently I, I'm not doing anything at this moment, but uh I'll I'll be thinking about a giveaway when I reach about hundred K subscriber. But I'm not quite sure you'll be quite far away. <laughs> <laughs> well basically that's it for this video and uh remember to comment, share, like and subscribe. And of course uh do check out youtube.dancetubes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, TV. Uh, if you're interested, do check him out. See ya. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome.